Have you ever thought about how deep the ocean really is? Like, seriously deep. Deeper than you'd ever imagine. If we gathered up every beach, hill and mountain on the planet and used it to fill up the ocean's deepest spots with it, the whole Earth would be submerged under a massive two-mile deep sea. Crazy, right? The ocean's incredible depth is a product of many factors. Imagine Earth as a puzzle with shifting pieces, tectonic plates. They move and shape the ocean floor over time, causing gaps where molten rock surfaces to form new seabeds. These plates can conclide, creating deep trenches when one goes under the other. The ocean's depth is a cool result of Earth's moving parts, ancient water, and time. There are five zones in the ocean. Epipygic zone or sunlight zone. This is the topmost layer of the ocean, extending from the surface down to around 200 meters. Mesopelagic zone or twilight zone. Extending from around 200 to 1000 meters. Bathypelagic zone or midnight zone. From about 1000 to 4000 meters. Abyssopelagic zone or abyssal zone extending from around 4,000 to 6,000 meters. Haddle pelagic zone or HAL zone. This is the deepest layer of the ocean, found in trenches and canyons that reach depths beyond 6,000 meters. Let's put things in perspective here. This is the size of a regular person. And this is a dinosaur. Now, Check this out, the largest ship ever made, Pioneering Spirit. The 382 meter long, 124 meter wide vessel is the world's largest vessel by gross tonnage. Now, let's dive in and explore underwater. Starting off at Sunlight Zone. At about 40 meters, which is 130F below the surface, that's the max depth for recreational scuba diving. Just a tad lower, at 93 meters, which converts to 101 yards, lies the Lusitania wreck. Lusitania was sunk off North Atlantic Ocean, near Old Head of Kinsale, Ireland. On May 7, 1915, killing 1,198 people. At around 100 meters, which is the twilight zone, diving gets dicey due to decompression sickness. Now journey with me to 332 meters, meeting Ahmed Geber. He's an Egyptian scuba diver known for setting a world record for the deepest scuba dive. Another 111 meters down and he'd be at the height of the Empire State Building if it took a dip in the ocean. Okay, hold on tight because at 500 meters we hit the Blue Whale's deepest dive zone. These giants are the kings of the ocean, and they cap at this depth. Down at 535 meters, emperor penguins will be partying down there because they can hold their breath for up to 22 minutes. Zooming to 828 meters, we're talking Berger Khalifa height. The tallest building on land ain't got nothing on the ocean's depths. Brace yourself at 1,000 meters. We're in midnight zone. Flashlight time, cause it's pitch black down there. But wait. Before we dive further, please pause and subscribe to do crux for more videos like this. I hope you can see the subscribe button in the total darkness. Sunlight can't reach here and by to survival. Dropping to 1280 meters, leatherback sea turtles set their record. And at 1828 meters, we hit the Grand Canyon's underwater depth. 2000 meters down, and we're in for some real scares, like the black dragonfish. Hold your breath at 2250 meters, cause sperm whales and the intimidating colossal squid hang out here. Picture squid versus whale battles, it's a heavyweight bout in the deep. These squids are massive, with dinner plate sized eyes, yikes! Dropping even lower to 3,800 meters, Titanic's resting place away. A British passenger liner, 
operated by the White Star Line that sank in the North Atlantic Ocean on 15 April 1912 after striking an iceberg during her maiden voyage. Around 4,000 meters say hi to the abyssal zone. Pressure at around 11,000 pounds per square inch. And oh boy! There are creatures straight out of sci-fi here, like the fangtooth, anglerfish, and viperfish. At 4,791 meters, meet the sunken battleship Bismarck, built for Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine. Way down at 6,000 meters starts the Hadal Zone. The Hadal Zone is named after Hades, the ancient Greek god of the underworld. The pressure is 1,100 times the surface. It's like a person carrying the weight of 50 jumbo planes. 8,848 meters, you can imagine Mount Everest was being placed upside down in the ocean. On 26 March 2012, filmmaker and explorer James Cameron made a record-breaking solo dive down to 10,908 meters in the Deep Sea Challenger. Diving submersible. It was built in Australia in partnership with the National Geographic Society and with support from Rolex in the Deep Sea Challenge program. He took two hours and 36 minutes to reach the bottom and return to the surface in 70 minutes. Down at 10,972 meters, you're cruising at a commercial airliner's cruising altitude. So if you've ever looked out of a window while on a flight and looked down to the ground, that's a very good sense of how incredibly deep down into the abyss that we are currently at. The deepest part of the ocean is called the Challenger Deep and is located beneath the Western Pacific Ocean in the southern end of the Mariana Trench, which runs several hundred kilometers southwest of the U.S. territorial island of Guam. Challenger Deep is approximately 10,984 meters, about 36,036 feet deep. But gets what? Let's bring back our question on do you know how deep is the ocean? As of June 2022, only 23.4% of the Earth's sea floor has been mapped thanks to an international initiative, Seabed 2030. Leaving the rest a mystery, but who knows, deeper depths might surprise us soon. Feel free to share your insights in the comments section below. If you like more of these videos, do subscribe and support our new channel so that we can continue making more videos. Thank you for watching.